I'm going to teach you a really useful life skill that I could almost guarantee you will end up needing one day, which is how to solder. Soldering is basically welding at a really small scale where you're melting metal to combine two small electronics components, really useful to repair things or even eventually work on your own projects. To start this, you only need three things. All are really affordable. A soldering iron, this will actually melt the metal. The solder, this is the metal that you melt to combine things. And then flux. This is basically a paste that allows the melted metal to stick to whatever component that you're trying to solder together. The most common type of soldering you'll be doing is soldering a wire to a circuit board. This is a really common type of repair when a wire rips off and you need to reattach it. Your first step is going to be plugging in your soldering iron. If it has an adjustable heat, heating it up to anywhere from 300 to 350 degrees. Next, you want to take your flux paste. This part is really important and put it on both surfaces that you want to solder. In this case, we're going to be putting it on the wire and the little pad that we want to be soldering onto. Now we're going to do something called tinning the surfaces. And what we're going to be doing is melting solder onto both the surfaces before we combine them together. What we're going to do is hold the soldering iron onto our surface to heat it up before we even touch it with the solder. Once it's hot after about one or two seconds, we're gonna feed solder into it. That will apply solder to our component. Now we're gonna do the same thing on our circuit board where again, we heat it up, we wait for a second until it's hot and then we feed the solder in. You'll see then it will be nicely formed on the surface there. And now that both of our components already have solder on them, it's simply a matter of placing them on top of one another and then lightly holding the iron on it for about two seconds. We then remove the iron, make sure we hold the component there while it dries for just a few seconds. And just like that, we have our first solder joint. That's gonna be staying put for a long time now and make a really good electrical connection. The other type of soldering you'll run into, especially if you're building projects, is through hole soldering. This is where you'll have holes with components that are placed through them. So do this, you wanna first place the component that needs to be soldered into the surface. And then after the component is placed in, you once again want to add flux. Same as before, we ensure to preheat the surface that we're soldering and then feed the solder metal into it. When you're done soldering these through hole type components, you're looking for these nice little teepees of solder. You don't want a big blob and you don't want it to be flat so the pin's not making a good connection. There's kind of a sweet spot of how much solder to put on. It's quite a simple task, but it's one of those things that does look a lot easier on camera than when you're doing it in reality. It's really easy to get messed up and apply too much or too little and then there's solder everywhere. If you are seriously interested in learning this, there's lots of different DIY kits that you could buy to learn soldering. This is a really good one that I've used before that has a whole bunch of components for you to practice on and it makes this little thing with a button and these arrows that you control. I'll leave a link to this one specifically in my bio, but there's lots of kits out there for learning on Amazon. Three safety tips as well. Don't touch the iron, it gets very hot. Make sure the solder you buy is lead free and non-toxic. And make sure to do it in a well-ventilated area because there are still some fumes. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, suggestions, corrections, please leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to help. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.